Why did you choose all these terrible prompts? Burp, don't give me your butt. Turn around, I don't want to see your butt. Hey Greens, don't be fooled by this cute fluffy parrot because he is demonic, right? Uh huh. And today I'm going to have my parrot, Angel, who's a demon. Uh huh. You're very agreeable today. <laughs> oh! Why'd you hit me? That's not nice! What'd you do to me? And it's a hit and run. And so today I'm going to ask my parrot to help me choose how to unmake over these new squishies. <laughs> I also wanted to say thank you so much for 1 million subscribers. That is an insane number. Like as I'm talking about it, I'm getting emotional, but I really wanted to say thank you so much for being part of my life. I know and Angel's yeah. life too. Now, normally most of you are used to squishy makeovers, where Mariah Elizabeth takes a perfectly destroyed squishy. Why did I say perfectly destroyed? Because I am a creature of darkness! Don't judge me. And turns it into an absolutely adorable work of art. Whereas me over here, I take perfectly good squishies and turn them into creatures of darkness. Because we are the salt, not the sweet. Very intense. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Is that what you want? Because I'll do it. Heads up, the Burb merch will only be available until February 14. I did extend the deadline, so if you are interested in the limited edition merch, I will leave the link in the description box below. Are you done? No. Since I don't want to make any decisions, I am not going to be choosing which squishies I'm going to unmake over. That's going to be up to Burb. But also, I asked your grains on Instagram to help me choose opposing themes in order for Burb to choose. So let's write a couple of them down. The first one to catch my attention is by Princess Leia. Water subset recommends rainbow versus grayscale. Oh my god, I hope I don't have to go grayscale. Stupid K Monto. I know it's not what the word is. We suggest pattern versus plain. Both Nasmaj and M Narcissus kind of suggested the same thing of cute versus darkness or salt versus sugar. So we're gonna go with that idea. And many of you also suggested that. Now from the other two options that my parrot gets to choose from is either the Kitty Burger, which has a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Or the absolutely new lion and what we're going to transform it to. Off we go. All right, so here are our choices and here is our burb. Are you ready for me? I'll take that as a yes. And here's some complimentary chonker kitty shots. <laughs> so how this works is pretty straightforward. I will put two of these sticky notes on his cage. Whichever he picks up first is the one we have to do. Burp. Uh-huh. Be nice, okay? You gonna be nice to me? No. Wow, that's rude. Let's start by finding out. So we have lion versus kitty, and he took the lion. No, you can't do the kitty. All right, lion it is. Will we turn the lion into a dragon or a unicorn? And the answer is unicorn. All right, can, can I have the paperback? Is the unicorn cute or a creature of darkness? This time I'm going to put the papers facing down just so that we can see, oh, Okay, I guess the unicorn's going to be a creature of darkness. Oh my god. How? You keep taking the one on the right, but you took the left one. Do you hate me? Wow. Rainbow versus grayscale. I have rainbow over here and gray over there. Let's see what he chooses. Let's see what you got for me. Okay, so a rainbow evil okay unicorn you are crazy <laughs> you're crazy and lastly we have plain or will it have a pattern ready yeah on this side we have plain and on this side we have pattern and again i'm putting them facing down see which one he'll take and he's taking pattern you little schnitzel you're crazy I really thought this bird loved me, but obviously he has other plans. If you had these prompts, let me know what would you have created. Feel free to draw it, 
hashtag nerdycraft on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. But remember, it has to be the same base of that line squishy that we had. And so here are the prompts, my grains. Not my grains, because you're not a headache. You're absolutely wonderful. I love you. Don't ever think of anything like that again. I tell you. We're going to be transforming this lion into a rainbow unicorn of darkness with patterns. Let's do the doing. So, Sir Lion, you shall be turned into a unicorn. And then your name will be Greenbrier. Good enough. And so the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking sandpaper and sanding the schnitzel out of it. And as some of you may know, the reason we're sanding it is because it does help the other paint to adhere to very smooth surfaces. Once that's done, we definitely know that the most important component to a unicorn is its horn. So I'm going to take some scrap foam from other squishies. May they rest in peace. Actually in pieces. <laughs> For this part, I'm using Fabri-Tac. And I'm just going to rubber band it so that it stays in place. And the back of the line seems just a little, like, not this much, but like this, th this much. Plain. So the butt needs something fluffy. So what I'm going to do is add a tail. Sometimes if the piece doesn't look just right the way I want it after I glue it, then I can go ahead and trim it. It's kind of like trimming a bush. What? Get your minds out of the gutter! Voila. Everything I've learned about squishy makeovers and unmakeovers is pretty much due to watching Mariah Elizabeth. So in order to get these foamy parts over here to be as smooth as the front part, we're going to be using 3D paint to make sure that the pores don't show up too much. So we're going to cover whatever gaps we can. Oh, and I added a swirly just because. And of course, since this is a unicorn, we don't need the mane to go all the way around the head, so I'm just trimming off pieces that are not necessary. As I'm ready, ready getting. Wow, English number one. As I'm getting ready for the next step, I realized that as I sanded these pieces, look at that. This just exposed an air bubble. This is a gap. There's a gap under the mouth. So it means I'm going to have to fill that hole with some of the paint. Thanks for nothing! Since I have to wait for this part to dry anyways, the flat ears kind of bothered me. So I'm going to go ahead and place extra ears just so that they're there when we paint them. Now, although technically, I could use fabric paint in order to give it a few coats to, to make the whole thing clear as a canvas, here's my hack. Fabric spray paint. The good thing about fabric spray paint is that when you put it on your piece, what ends up happening is that usually one coat is enough to hide every detail. All right, at this point, I figured the best color to go with a creature of darkness is to make sure that the body itself is going to be black. So the choice was pretty easy for that one. However, wait, hold your horses. Get it? Hold your horses because it's a unicorn. No? Yeah? Please? Did you laugh? I am a doofus because I just realized the nose is not a horse snout. Obviously it's good for a lion, maybe even a bear, a dog, cat, but no, I mean nay. Okay, I'll stop. I'm gonna quit horsing around. So I'm going to have to go in and chop that part off and start the whole process of making a whole new snout that, that, that is a little more, wow, English, a little more horse-like. All right, off you go. Now we're getting into the most interesting part. Since this is a creature of darkness, but we have to use rainbow, there are two ways I could go about this. One is make a rainbow pattern on the mane, except use a little bit more black in the colors to make it slightly darker. Or the other method is to use the inverted or negative colors of the rainbow. So here's what the rainbow looks like. And if we go into the negative colors, this is what it looks like. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these two would you have chosen 
chosen. Personally, I feel like the inverted colors of the rainbow are really pretty, but they're not dark enough. So either way, I would have had to use some kind of black color to make them darker. So in that case, I'm going to go ahead and use every single of the rainbow color, add a smidgen of black into it, and start coloring the mane. Why is this thing still wet? Is it me or this kind of looks like a freaky eye? Hello, my name is Nerdy and I can't even open a pot of paint without messing myself. Oh, this looks like Dijon mustard. Ah, oh, dang it. So far the eyes look pretty good. Since I want this to look just a little bit kind of like a, like a not so happy evil darkness unicorn, I'm going to give it slight bags under its eyes, All Might style, and then give it little wrinkles underneath to make it look a little more aggressive. And because I'm basic, since it's our evil darkness unicorn, I'm going to go with red eyes. So... Part of me is regretting this, because now all I can think of is da -da 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 Circus Afro -da -da from Madagascar. Yeah, that scene. But I have other plans. I will try to fix this. Just hang on, okay? Stay with me, <laughs> I know there's some touch-ups to do over here because there's some contamination, so I figured the second coat of black, I'm going to try and put a little bit of hollow glitter and see if something can come out from this one. Maybe the hollow glitter will just be kind of like, like dusted on top, like, like that. Did I make that? Was that clear enough? Yeah, and the answer to that is no, 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 no. This looks like it has um, a glitter disease. So, no, I'm removing this right away. You are not welcome here, hollow glitter. As pretty as you are, you do not belong. <sighs> Contamination. And fixed. However, he does have a horn. Let's see if we can make it hollow. So far, the hollow unicorn is actually staying in place. I'm gonna try and seal it in with Mod Podge because it is pretty flexible. Hopefully it works. I have to admit, Unicorn Greenbrier is actually growing on me. Now, the only thing we have left to do, let's look at the prompts again, voila. And what's missing is that we need a pattern. I have a pretty good idea of what pattern I can do, but before I do the pattern, I want to do, actually I'll do the pattern first, Ign ignore what I just said. So the pattern is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm going to make star-like kind of little shapes on the body that also kind of trickle into the mane. So it looks like it's a type galaxy thing. And because I just don't know when to stop, I'm going to go ahead and try to put some chocolate topping on it. I don't know why. I'm gonna put some chocolate topping and some fake sprinkles because this thing looks like it could be a villain maybe in a My Little Pony candy universe. And so here is Greenbrier, the darkness rainbow unicorn with a pattern. Honestly, I would have never thought of these prompts, so having you grain suggest them and my evil parrot... Hang on, you know what? Let's go get him. All right, so it seems like my chicken is scared of his own choice. Right, Burr? You okay? He's scared. But coming back to the creation itself, I really would have never thought of making a creature of darkness, which is a unicorn and has rainbows. So it really did push me kind of outside of my own comfort zone and limits. And here's the before and after. Let me know, do you prefer the cuter type or do you prefer the one that my evil parent recommended? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more of my burb, he does have his own movie. I'll link it in the description box below as well as in the pinned comment. Right, Burp? Uh-huh. <laughs> that was a really tiny yes compared to before. Let's see his yes before. 
Right, it was way more enthusiastic. If you want to watch the previous crafting video, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a review because y'all are salty, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.